The glory of the Lord is rising upon me. Our third reading is taken from Evangelii Gaudium, The Joy of the Gospel by Pope Francis. His apostolic exhortation on the proclamation of the Gospel in today's world. Chapter 5 A Mother with an Open Heart If the whole Church takes up this missionary impulse, she has to go forth to everyone without exception. But to whom should we go first? When we read the Gospel, we find a clear indication not so much our friends and wealthy neighbors, but above all the poor and the sick, those who are usually despised and overlooked, those who cannot repay you. There can be no room for doubt or for explanations which weaken so clear a message. Today and always the poor are privileged are the privileged recipients of the Gospel, and the fact that it is freely preached to them is a sign of the Kingdom that Jesus came to establish. We have to state, without mincing words, that there is an inseparable bond between our faith and the poor. May we never abandon them. Let us go forth then, let us go forth to offer everyone the life of Jesus Christ. Here I repeat for the entire Church what I have often said to priests and laity of Buenos Aires. I prefer a Church which is bruised, hurting and dirty because it has been, it has been on the streets, rather than a Church which is unhealthy from being confined and from clinging to its own security. I do not want a church concerned with being at the center and then ends by being caught up in a web of obsessions and procedures. If something should rightly disturb us and trouble our consciences, it is the fact that so many of our brothers and sisters are living without the strength, light and consolation born of friendship with Jesus Christ, without a community of faith to support them, without meaning and a goal in life. More than by fear of going astray, my hope is that we will be moved by the fear 